Hey back again to my new video this Sampath you're watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 Pro custom ROM reviews you can see this is an Android version 13 I mean this is a Pixel OS available for Poco X3 Pro YUR Bhima both are applicable 5th August 2023 is the latest security patch available the kernel user is 4.14.190 Rectila kernel has been used in this particular ROM let's see one by one what all the things available how is the benchmark is this everything will be seen in this video and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like starting with the dialer you can see it's a simple pixel i mean the google dialer you also get a uh, video call support and call recording feature which will announce the other person that you are recording the call and this is a quick settings panel very simple in the edit section you get plenty of options not as many as, as options in some of the other custom rooms this is very simple pixel os it's nothing but a pixel like a experience in your poco x Zippo that is possible with this particular rom and you also get camera here miui camera the nx camera which is really good all the things are working fine here i tested it out and if i go into the menu actually yeah settings you can see even Leica integration is also given picture quality other things you can play around that and uh, vlog mode other things all are working fine if you want to use a gcam you can even use the gcam port too that is going to be work well with this particular rom and wallpaper style again you get this kind of new interface this is an android 14 kind of interface getting soon android 14 builds that will be available in my channel once that is opened i mean the beta version or pixel experience android 14 that will be available in my channel so subscribe to my channel you will get these kind of videos in my channel and these are the wallpapers pre-installed here you also get themed icons and app grid you get from 2 into 2 to up to 5 into 5 is given i also get this basic colors wallpaper colors other colors combination of colors those are going to work fine in this particular rom regarding widgets again you get a widgets here nothing improved as of now let's see in 914 let they can add any new widgets or not let's see and the home settings you get a pixel launcher here no need to worry regarding that and this is after and this is the quick settings panel you won't get any out of brightness toggle here you get app active status downside and notifications can be seen in between that settings and power button again you can directly reboot to system those are the things given i want to show the benchmark results first yeah you can see uh, charging rapid i mean the 33 watt charging support is given in this rom it's cool it's working fine and cpu throttling test this is 100 thread test guys the maximum is around 255 and average is 196 and 165 is the minimum it's throttled to 68 percent of its max performance this is for uh, 15 minutes you can see here and this how it is and i want to show this uh, result also the gig score 1027 is the single score and 2520 is the multi score and again kernel user is linux 4.14.190 rectilia kernel has been used in this particular rom this is the benchmark results and other things let's move into settings before that i want to show this uh, safety net status result too this is very important in order to use the payment applications like google pay phone pay or paytm you know sba whatever you want to use those going to work fine once this get passed you can use those payment applications and google maps and whatsapp everything is working fine in this rom as of now no issues you also get fm radio support and drm information like l1 support you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's not the problem in this particular rom and to benchmark you guys can see app opening time meanwhile yeah six lakhs thirty one thousand seven hundred and thirteen is the score and 1.2 degree celsius is the temperature rise and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing and this is the version of android i'm using 10.0.7 op7 version you can use the same you get little bit boosted scores before the i mean in order to get high scores you can use this particular version of ant2 benchmark app and this is typical settings panel it's look very simple no customization whatsoever you get just these two options in order to get low battery light led blink and battery percentage and battery saver you get extreme battery saver also available here you can reduce the refresh rate once you enable the battery 
saver thermal profiles has been given you can individually choose the app and keep the thermal i mean the for example if we go here as you can see you can keep the certain particular operation you can do for particular app then it will be better in my opinion sound and vibration again you get haptic feedback strength here you can increase or decrease the intensity of it direct sound enhancer is given you get enable hi-fi and enable audio direct systems those are also going to work fine in this particular rom again into display settings you get again a dark theme options as you can see you can use pitch black theme which will be in pitch black condition there is a dedicated option given that is not the case with uh, any of the pixel kind of uh, experience rom and other things but here those are working fine in my opinion minimum maximum refresh rate you can keep up to 30 to 120 a dynamic refresh rate is also given in this particular rom again into system gestures there are some options like gesture navigation other things are also working fine in this rom if you want to use it as a daily driver go ahead and flash this rom if you are using pixel experience experience plus pixis os pixel os pixel extended all are going to be same there will be difference in the kernel and how will be the battery efficiency and battery life how you get how you like that based on that you can flash this from all things i think explained the bgma you get just uh, 60 XP fps option 90 fps can be enabled but overall it's good but not as a gaming rom this is overall this is a good rom you can use it as a daily driver i am sampath signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now